Welcome back to Asa Camps. Today we have another great opportunity for you to get to know what is going on with the auto industry, guys. And today I have one of the most exciting products that are coming in 2021 straight from Jeep and the people from Motor One. You know, that's my favorite website. And I'm here to bring to you my opinion, my excitement, my emotions about what I'm seeing right now, which is the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, which is the longer version of the two-row Jeep Grand Cherokee. And let me tell you this, this has been rumored and rendered for so long as the Grand Wagoneer, and now we have the Grand Cherokee L. But before that, I would like to remind you to subscribe at Awesome Camps. Follow me on Facebook, check me out on Instagram, hit the like button, and don't forget to leave your comments and become part of the community of us at Camps because that's what matters the most. Being united, being receiving all the information and the data that you really want today. But uh, without further ado, let's talk about one of my the most exciting products right now in the auto industry. And let me tell you guys, this vehicle looks bold, sporty, luxurious, brash, off-roader. It looks, it, it, there's so many adjectives that I can put right there right now. And right now, I don't, I'm speechless the way I look at this vehicle. When I look at it, it's like, wow. And this is just some pictures. I cannot imagine how is it going to look in the flesh. So let's, let me show you some more pictures of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L and tell you a little bit about the story of the Jeep Grand Cherokee overall. Jeep Grand Cherokee was introduced in 1993, and you all know that. It has been one of the best-selling SUVs on the lineup. And the reason for that is because they introduced this vehicle as a luxury brand, as a luxury product back then. And they have not missed the point or the opportunity to be and do so. I remember when the Jeep Grand Cherokee came out for the first time. It was one of the most luxurious and best-looking vehicles that I have ever seen, especially in Puerto Rico. It was very, very rare to see one of them. And then it became a little bit more popular and more common. But the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, now 2021, is coming to set a new bounce, a new statement. This is going to be one of the best selling SUVs of all times with the Jeep brand to back up the actual name on. So that's the reason that they put the Jeep Grand Cherokee name instead of Wagoneer. The Wagoneer, yes, it sold in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. There were some, some models out there. But the Jeep Grand Cherokee has been selling for over 20 years. And that's what matters the most. You want a name that you can recognize and sell and make it look great. So this Jeep Grand Cherokee L is going to sport 21 inches rims. It's going to be 121 inches wheelbase width, and the lens is going to be 204 inches. Compared to the regular two-row, it's about give and take seven inches wider, and it's going to be around uh, 15 inches longer than the regular version. And that's really cool because it's going to give you more space and that's what you're looking for. You want a comfort ride that you can hold like pretty much everybody in your family and some more equipment and luggage. So let me show you some of the pictures in the off-roading. Oh my God, it looks amazing. I cannot stop gushing about it. Look at that. It's so pretentious like you can have this vehicle anywhere you want to go and you're gonna stand out by the looks and oh oh man oh man i want to see the interior let me just get to the interior there's so many pictures here there's a lot, over 100 pictures <gasps> look at that what it looks better than most of the bmws out there i said it, it looks better than the bmws guys <laughs> Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, with the digital cluster. Sign me in. What's the price? I need to know what's the price. Look at that. Wow. Let me see. Interior. You know that 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 interior is one up. Oh, look. Heated and vented seats. All the way to the back. Oh, look at that color, man. 
And then you can carry your loved ones. Hey, Bobby, how are you doing? Huh? <laughs> I love it. And this one has the best infotainment system in the auto industry because if something that Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler knows how to do is infotainment system, one of the best in the auto industry. All-wheel drive systems, that's another thing that they're really good at. Now they're calling the interior Topello color, which is the one right here, and Palermo color. So those are things that they're bringing right near here from Italy. Attractive leather finishes and wood everywhere. Mm, that's something that Jeep knows how to do best. Look at the space with the third row up. It's supposed to be up to 14 square feet in the back. And it's going to have a 16-way power adjustable heated and ventilated seats and massage option with five oh, up to five profiles per vehicle that's crazy then look at the speakers macintosh speakers hmm interesting very luxurious jeep you nail it oh 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 chocolate what is that that's luxury in the flesh the best that's what jeep knows how to do best interiors wow Wow, best application of an infotainment system in a dash with physical buttons that you, that you and me really want. This is crazy. And a knob for the transmission, which is the future here. Not too futuristic, not too outdated. That's what I like about the application of vehicles, that we can have basically the best of both worlds. It's a, good comp it's a good compromise. You don't have all touchscreen things like Teslas and new vehicles. You can have some physical buttons and some good infotainment system. And Jeep is doing it for you. That's what happens here. Look at the digital tachometer and cluster. Oh, my God. <gasps> wow. That's the radar detector, lane departure, and all those safety systems Jeep is going to come with them. Now it says that the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, it's going to give you up to 84 cubic feet total cargo room with the third row down. And with the third row up, it's going to give you up between 14 to 17 cubic feet of space. Really good numbers right now. The infotainment system is going to be a 10 point inches infotainment system in that um infotainment area and in the cluster is going to be at eight inches so with the wi-fi and 4g capabilities you're going to have internet going to stay connected all day long everywhere you go and this one has adaptive cruise control night vision traffic sign detection and so much more 12 usb a's 12 and usb c ports located throughout the whole cabin my goodness gracious, this is the display of the four-wheel drive. Mm, really, really good. Guys, let me tell you something. You know that you're going to have one of the best off-road vehicles in the auto industry. And on top of that, all the technology that Jeep only can sport. Let me show you this video. This Jeep is coming with a 3.6 V6 engine from last year model. And that one gives you 290 horsepower and 257 pound-feet of torque with the optional 5.7 V8 that we all want because that's what you put on a V and a Jeep. You don't put no V6 engines. You put a V8, a proper V8 with 357 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. Both of these engines come with pair with an eight-speed automatic transmission, no dual clutch, no CVT, High proper automatic transmission, guys, with a two-wheel drive and as a standard model and the four-wheel drive as an option. The two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive will be able to pull up to 6,200 pounds in either way of the configuration, but with the V8, you can pull up to 7,200 pounds with the four-wheel drive version. This Jeep Grand Cherokee L comes with the optional Three options of the 4x4, the Quadra Track 1, Quadra Track 2, and Quadra Drive number 2. And with the rear-wheel drive electronic system with the limited slip differential, and it's going to be electronic. So you can, like, apply it or take it off anytime you want. 
So, also, it comes with the Quadra Lift Adaptive Air Suspension and five firmness settings that when you're hauling things, sometimes these vehicles get to sit on the back and this is going to help with that. So, all that being said, guys, this is crazy. The departure and the approach on the Jeep Grand Cherokee L is 20 degrees in the front as a standard and with the air lift uh, system active, it's going to be 30 inches of approach and the breakover is 18 inches standard 22 in the air with the air system up with the departure of 21 degrees and up to 23 when the system is ready set up also safety advanced systems 360 degrees camera and also uh optional active passive equipment available in the overland and summit models the Summit is going to be the top model with hand freeze active driving assistant, which promises even more in the way of semi autonomy. And, uh, you know, you still want some comfort and autonomy, but you want to get to drive your Jeep because that's what they're all about. So it's going to be able to uh, detect if your driver is drowsy or you're having traffic sign recognition. And if you're having a lot of tiredness and you don't want to drive, the Jeep is going to save your uh trip without giving you much headache pricing and availability is coming soon right now jeep is selling the jeep grand cherokee two row for thirty seven thousand dollars brace price but the three row is going to be slightly higher i expect it to be around forty two thousand dollars and above and rising up to the sixty five thousand dollars on the va but that's my speculation and i would like you to speculate too because jeep is bringing one of the best, but if not the best Jeep ever right now for you. The Jeep Grand Cherokee L is the product to buy. And I will leave you guys with this question of the day. The question of the day is, would you purchase a Jeep Grand Cherokee L over a BMW X5 or a Mercedes GLS or a BMW X7? Hmm? With the VA option? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I will leave you with that. And don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments down below to know what's going on in between you and me, right? Community, let's build this up. I will see you guys soon, and I will see you guys with some more interesting products. See you next time.